Now the tech shield has many uses, one of them being it is able to protect you from syphilis, as you can surely see from our demonstrator, he is protecting himself from our groin area and who knows what's wandering down there. What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here and there is a new patch out on the consoles that came out earlier today and one of those new additions is this beauty of a machinery piece thing here. It is the tech shield. Now this thing looks majestic as anything, it kind of looks like a T-Rex skull and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the tech shield, the primitive shield which you can see down here and yep there you go, the little tiny wooden shield and the metal shield. So we're going to see just how much damage these guys can block and whether or not the tech shield is the best shield out of them all. And judging by the standards of ARC, I'm going to say the tech shield is the best because obviously they've made the tech stuff the best for the game. Alrighty, now we're going to get into some testing and get into it. Alrighty, so we're back with some assistance and as you can see we've got the regular base wooden shield equipped. It only weighs 0.5 and it's relatively cheap to make, only requiring about 50 wood to make. I'm pretty sure it's 50 wood and a bit of thatch and fiber. But as you can see, it doesn't really protect against much. You know, you get two punches against a player. That's pretty much equivalent to two dinosaur attacks, if that. So the wooden shield obviously isn't very good. However, we jump over onto the regular metal shield, which weighs a hefty 45 and it does cost quite a bit to make. You can see if we're punched, it doesn't really damage us. You can see that we're only taking a slight amount of damage every two hits, which is pretty impressive in terms of this shield. Now, if we come across into a turret, for example, and you've only got the other shield activated, you can see here, the shield is able to mitigate pretty much all of the damage that the turret is um, dishing out. And you can see there the shield eventually broke. It did last quite a bit of time. But you saw there the shield did break. Now this was only a primitive shield, obviously if you're playing on Ragnarok, Scorched Earth, you can get blueprints for higher up shields. You can see that sort of in the top right corner. I apologise for the small screen, it is a little bit hard to do this. But you can see that it's pretty much broken. Its durability is gone. It lasted, I'm going to say 10 shots against the turret. So now we're going to do the tech, tar tech shield sorry, and see how that copes against the auto turret. Alrighty. So the resource breakdown for the metal shield is quite a lot. So all up you need 80 metal ingots, 20 cementing paste and 15 hide. It then weighs a hefty 45 weight modules on your character. But other than that it is a pretty good amount of defense. Now you can see here its durability isn't very much, it's 1250 which like I said isn't very much but it can deflect a few shots off the tech rifle as well. So if you don't have access to the riot shield or the tech shield you can block with the metal shield however you do get launched slightly far back and you'll actually notice that after a few shots the shield will eventually break you can see here a few more shots from that and it's already broken so for only about five or six shots from the tech rival and it will break so it is very limited into how much damage it can prevent Alrighty, next up we brought out the Riot Shield. Now, before we quickly start, we're just going to do a quick breakdown of the resources required. So you need 120 polymer, 200 crystal, 120 silica pearls, and 40 metal ingots to craft the Riot Shield. So in comparison to the Metal Shield, it is quite a lot more in terms of more expensive resources such as the polymer and crystal. However, the Riot Shield is definitely worth it as it can block a lot more shots than the metal shield. You can see here this was on 43 bullets. It is slowly taking us down and the right shield will easily be able to block all this damage. You can see there 12 bullets are remaining. So all up this took 31 bullets from an auto turret to break the right shield. Which is pretty impressive in comparison to the 10 bullets it took for the metal shield to break. Alrighty so next up we tested the tech rifle on the riot shield and as you can see from the riot shield you still get a slight knockback much like the metal shield however it is able to block obviously more than the metal shield now as well as that if you're not careful with your partner that's helping you do these videos he will kill you um, but as well as that it is rather useful for blocking other damage from dinos and for example even the ice caverns on the Ragnarok server with the ice queen 
it actually helps prevent damage from her little ice worm babies, not ice worm babies, ice, ice worm male alphas that are in the cave on your way to the ice worm queen. So it's definitely recommended investing in a riot shield. However, if you don't trust the partner that is in your tribe or trying to kill you, well, bad things can happen, as duly noted. Alrighty, so next up we took a look at the tech shield and as you can see from the beginning of the video, it is rather majestic looking and the resources to, to craft it are a huge amount. So you need 240 polymer, 900 metal ingots, 240 crystal, 70 element and 100 black pearls. Plus on top of that you'll need the tech replicator to be able to craft it. Now the tech shield has many uses, one of them being it is able to protect you from syphilis as you can surely see from our demonstrator, he's protecting himself from our groin area and who knows what's wandering down there on the island and what kind of diseases our survivor has. You can already see, we have a blood patch on our trousers and that's a little bit worrisome for our um, various immune deficiency diseases that we have on our character. Alrighty, so before we get more carried away, we're gonna get into it and we're gonna see exactly what the tech shield is able to do and how well it's able to reflect bullets. So here we go. So if you look closely, it doesn't actually look like the tech shield is reflecting the bullets, not from what I'm able to see, as he is getting shot at by the turret and, you know, is trying to, by the looks of the shield, reflect them onto me. However, it does not appear to be working. So obviously the tech shield is going to have a lot more durability than the riot shield, metal shield and the wooden base shield. And you know, we could stand here and do this all day. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try the tech rifle out and see if that's able to reflect any of the bullets. Alrighty, so I've got my tech shield up while the demonstrator is going to help shoot us and we're going to see exactly what happens. So it still doesn't look like the shield is reflecting it. We are taking damage from, we aren't taking damage, sorry, from the tech rifle. However, we are still being knocked back, which is rather unfortunate. You would think the tech shield would be able to mitigate that. However, what we're going to try doing now is we're going to try with a shotgun and seeing if the spread actually maneuvers and reflects onto the player shooting. Alrighty, so after a very long and uh, vigorous testing of multiple weapons, you can see from the large amount of bodies that lit up the testing field that the tech shield actually reflects everything but tech T weapons back to the fire. Oh wow, that was... Uh, that's pretty brutal, just blew the face off this guy. So as you can see, where's our, where's our assistant? Our assistant there, who will kindly demonstrate that by shooting the tech shield, he'll actually reflect it and kill himself. So that's definitely entertaining. However, I did notice you do take a bit of damage from it, from what I just saw on my health calculator. If you don't believe me, he's so gladly respawned once again to show you and demonstrate again. Okay, now he's just, just trying to kill us. Okay, things have become intense. I did not prepare for this. So we've used the simple rifle. We have used the assault rifle, the shotgun, the pump action shotgun, and they all reflect the damage back onto the shooter. As per, even if you actually aim away from them, they will still die, which is really funny and coincidental because if you're in PvP, this is actually a really useful tool to use to be able to kill your enemies, you know, you can just be running around, not actually doing anything, and then bring up your shield and they'll be surprised, and boom, they're dead. So it's a really good weapon, especially with like the shotguns and stuff, because shotguns is what you're gonna use in PvP against other players. So it's actually a really good tool to have. However, the crafting cost is a really big killer. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you didn't mind the split screen action and butt punching, but that'll be it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and we will be seeing more tech weapons. The tech sword that has been released as well, we will be doing a review on that, as well as a few more top five lists. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.